Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Lua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, it shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter for a life transforming testimony? You are welcome, Jesus' name. Thank him for his protection his security, his safety over our lives, over our home, over our marriage, over our family. In the name of Jesus, let's appreciate him. Let's worship him. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him glory. Let's thank him for his mercy that endures forever. Over our lives, over everything that concerns us, he is worthy to be praised. Let's thank him for our spouses, our children, the works of our hand, for our going out, for our coming in. He kept us. He preserved us. He protected us. Lord, we worship you. We appreciate you. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. Blessed be your name, O Lord God. In the name of Jesus, accept our thanks, accept our worship, accept our adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks and worship. Let's just go before the Lord God and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as I come into your presence this tonight, Lord, search my heart, O Lord. Every iniquity, every besetting sin, every idol in my heart, O Lord. Lord, forgive me. I repent of them in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to bring repentance unto the Lord God in the name of Jesus. Concerning everything, every rest of our life, every way that we have had before God. The Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus of every sin. In the name of Jesus, every iniquity. I want to hinder our prayer tonight. Lord, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Let's ask for mercy in the name of Jesus. The Father, have mercy upon me tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak upon me tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, mercy, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Concerning us tonight, O Lord, as we come into your presence tonight, Lord, have mercy. Let your mercy speak for us in the name of Jesus. Mercy, O Lord, mercy, O Lord, mercy, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, visit us by your mercy tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your mercy speak for us. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon our lives. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus upon our lives, upon our home, upon our marriage. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Concerning tonight's ministration, let the blood flow. Let the blood flow. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers Satan, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel, the blood of redemption. Let the blood prevail for us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus over our home, our marriage, our family, our husband, our spouse. Tonight's ministration, we come, we prevail by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to ask the Father as I've come tonight, let the heavens open upon me in the name of Jesus. Let's decree open heaven. Concerning us tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord, let the heaven be open upon us tonight. As we gather into your presence tonight, Lord, let the heaven open in the name of Jesus upon every individual, upon our lives, our home, our family. Open heavens. Open heavens in the name of Jesus. Let the heavens open, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We will not operate under close heaven in the we decree, we declare. Open heavens upon our life tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your will, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to invite the presence of the Holy Spirit into our midst tonight. That Holy Spirit, have your way. In the name of Jesus. 
come and take your place. Come and take preeminence over tonight's ministration. Yes, sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Spirit, have your way tonight. In the name of Jesus, have your way. Have your way, sweet Spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, have your way, sweet Holy Spirit. Come and pray in us. Come and pray to us. Come and pray for us tonight. In the name of Jesus. None of us, O Lord God, but all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, sweet Holy Spirit, have your way. In the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth to the and say, Father, as I've come into your presence, Lord, visit me. Visit my home. Visit my family tonight. In the name of Jesus. Your divine visitation, your divine encounter. Lord, let my life, O Lord, receive it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Divine visitation upon our life, upon our home tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let me have a divine encounter with you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's say, Father, arise, O Lord, for our home with our family tonight oh jesus arise oh lord by your power arise in your strength arise in your majesty in the name of jesus concerning our home our marriage our family in the name of jesus christ let us have a divine encounter with you tonight move in your power move in your spirit in the name of jesus christ i come in tonight oh lord will not be in vain open your mouth and pray the father has have come tonight let me not come in vain in the name of jesus christ let me prevail in the place of prayer tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we worship you. We appreciate you. We give you praise, O Lord God. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. We appreciate you. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration in the name of Jesus. Thank you for bringing us once again into your presence tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'll be a form, O Lord, have your way tonight. In the name of Jesus, let your spirit move, let your power flow. In the name of Jesus, let the heaven be open upon us tonight. Let our prayers, O Lord, not be an abomination unto you. Let our prayers be answered. In the name of Jesus, God, arise, O Lord, of our home, our marriage, our family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we worship you in the name of Jesus. At the end of tonight's ministration, let your name be glorified. Let your people be blessed. Let our prayer be answered. And all glory, all honor, all adoration, O Lord, be to your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, welcome you all to tonight's ministration. In the name of Jesus, you are all welcome. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are logging in from tonight, in the name of Jesus. May the name of the Lord God Almighty be glorified in your life, your home, your marriage, your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And those that are just joining us tonight, you are all welcome. In the name of Jesus. Celebrate the faithfulness of God in your life, your home, your marriage, your family. In the name of Jesus. And as you have come to meet with the Lord tonight, in the name of Jesus, you shall not be disappointed. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will visit you, your home, your marriage, your family tonight. And it shall be an encounter of divine visitation. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are all welcome. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Restoring Family Prayer Altar, where we pray for our home, our marriage, our family, and every area of our life. In the name of Jesus, God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Tonight's ministration will be looking at Oh Lord, arise for my family. Are you personalizing it to yourself? Oh Lord, arise for my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And as you pray tonight, the Lord God Almighty <coughs> will arise for our home, our marriage, our family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's look at the scripture. Our anchor scripture tonight is Psalm 68. Verse 1, Psalm 68 from verse 1. Psalm 68, verse 1 to 6. Amen. Psalm 68 from verse 1 to 6. Amen. I read from King James Version. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Verse 2. As smoke is driven away, 
so drive them away as what melted before the fire so let the wicked perish at the presence of god verse 3 but let the righteous be glad let them rejoice before god yea let them exceedingly rejoice amen verse 4 sing unto god sing praises to his name Extol him that rided upon the heavens by his name jah and rejoice before him verse 5 a father of the battle fatherless and a judge of the widows is god in his holy habitation amen verse 6 god seated the solitary in families he bringeth out those which are bound with chains but the rebellious dwell in a dry land amen praise the lord that's the scripture it says verse 1 let god arise let his enemies be scattered let them also that hate him flee before him our prayer is the lord god almighty will arise for our home our marriage our family in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus and let all those that hate him before scatter in the name of jesus amen so we we'll take our prayers as we are praying opening some other scriptures that we are using to pray that we'll be using to pray tonight amen let's open our mouth and begin to appreciate god in the name of jesus let's appreciate god for our family in the name of jesus begin to open your mouth and begin to appreciate god for your family for your home for your marriage every members of your family for your spouse your husband your children your wife in the name of jesus let's appreciate god for what god is doing and everything that he's about to do in our home in our marriage in our family for being faithful for his mercies that endures forever over our lives over our hope over our family in the name of jesus appreciate god appreciate god for your family for your spouse for your husband for your children for your wife in the name of jesus let's also appreciate god because we have a god that can arise in the name of jesus according to his word let's appreciate it because concerning our home our marriage our family it will arise tonight in the name of jesus let's appreciate god because we have a god that can arise in the name of jesus appreciate him because he can arise to fight your battles in the name of jesus your battle of your life your home your marriage your family in the name of jesus and restore the lost glories of your life your home your marriage your family in the name of jesus let's appreciate him father we appreciate you we appreciate you for our home for our family for our marriages because you will arrive for us tonight in the name of jesus concerning every areas of our life our home in the name of jesus arise by your power arise by your majesty in the name of jesus christ in jesus mighty name we have given thanks amen let's say arise O lord and let your glory be seen on my life family finances business marriage in the name of jesus christ god bless you sir god bless you ma let's open our mouth and pray that arise O lord and let your glory be seen on me my family my business my husband my children every area of my life my marriage in the name of jesus christ let's open our mouth and begin to pray in the name of jesus arise O lord and let your glory be seen in my life in my home in my marriage in my family in the name of jesus concerning every area of my life concerning your spouse concerning the work of his hand concerning our children concerning your business your health in the name of jesus arise O lord and let your glory be seen in our life in our home in our marriage in our family concerning our business concerning our finance concerning our marriage in the name of jesus father we pray O lord arise O lord in the name of jesus arise O lord and let your glory be seen in our life in our home in our marriage in our family concerning our spouses concerning our business concerning our finances concerning marriage O lord in the name of jesus concerning the works of our hand lord arise let your glory be seen in the lives of our children arise O lord concerning every situation every circumstances in our home in our marriage in our family father tonight arise O lord in the name of jesus in every homes in every family in every marriage lord arise let your glory be seen in the name of jesus let your glory be seen let your glory be seen in every home in our marriage in our family concerning our husband concerning our wife concerning children 
in the name of Jesus. Every husband, every wife, in the name of Jesus. Father, arise, O Lord, and let your glory be seen in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let every darkness in, out, and around my family, marriage, fade away in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise, O Lord, and let every darkness in, out, and around my family, marriage, business, finances, husband, wife, children, fade away in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus I hope you are praying. Mommies in the house, please let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That let God arise. Arise, O Lord. Let every darkness in, out, and around my family, my marriage, my husband, my children, my wife, every area of our life, our finances, fade away in the name of Jesus. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. Let it fade away in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it fade away. In the name of Jesus, arise, O Lord. Let every darkness in, out, and around our family, our marriage, home, business, career, health, fade away. In the name of Jesus, let it fade away. In the name of Jesus, arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. By your power, by your majesty, by your supremacy, by your authority. And let every darkness in, out, and around my family, marriage, Fade away in the name of Jesus. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. Let it fade away in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Arise, O Lord. Let everything in, out, and around our family, our home, our marriage, the works of our hand, our finances, our husband, our children, fade away in the name of Jesus. Let it fade away. Let it fade away in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name we have amen we are hope taking the next prayer point from <clears throat> psalm 68 that's our anchor scripture we are taking it to pray with that scripture psalm 68 from verse 1 to 6 then let god arise verse 1 we want to take it and pray with it let god arise let his enemies be scattered let them also that hate him flee before him. Let's open our mouth and pray that Father, Lord, rise, O Lord, for my home, for my marriage, for my family. My enemy, arise, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let every enemy, O Lord, my home, my marriage, let them scatter. In the name of Jesus, those that me, my home, my marriage, the works of my hand, let them flee before you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Let God arise. Arise, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let the enemies of our home, my family, my marriage, the works of my hand, my spouse, my children, let them scatter. And let those that hate me, O family, let them flee before you in the name of Jesus. Verse 2. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. Hearts melted before the fire, they perish at the presence of God. Lord, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. Every enemies of my home, every enemies of my marriage, my family, Lord, drive them away, O Lord. As was made for the fire, so let the wicked perish at thy presence, O God. In the name of Jesus, every wicked of my home, my life, my family, my husband, my children, the works of our hand, Lord, let them perish, O Lord, at your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 3. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice in the name of Jesus. Father, because of the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, my home, my marriage, my family, Lord, we shall be glad. In the Jesus, we shall be glad. We shall rejoice in the name of Jesus, exceedingly rejoice in the name of Jesus. For me, my home, my marriage, my family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 4. Sing unto God. Sing praises to his name. Estore him that rided upon the heavens by Jah and rejoice before him. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I will sing unto you, O Lord. My home, my marriage, my family will sing praises unto your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will restore your name. We will lift up your name more high. In the name of Jesus, verse 5, a father of the fatherless 
and a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation in the name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, our God, Lord, you are my Father. You are the Father, O Lord, from our life, our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, visit our home in the name of Jesus and be habitation in your sanctuary and visit us tonight and arrive for our family in the name of Jesus. Verse 6. God said that the solitary in families, He bringeth out those which are bound, but the rebellious dwell in the dry land. Lord, concerning our family, my home, my family, in the name of Jesus, Lord, arise. In the name of Jesus, Lord, those, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, from every chain, every, every bondage, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, let them be broken. In the name of Jesus, bring our family, bring our home into prosperity. In the name of Jesus, and deliver us, O Lord, from every bondage, every chain, everything that has held us captive. Our home, our marriage, our family, our husband, our children. In the name of Jesus, the works of our hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We still praying. We say, Father, arise and break all the strongholds of the enemies against help favor, goodness, prosperity, lifting, breakthrough in my life and family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we slot in everything. In the name of Jesus, Father, arise and break all the strongholds of the enemies against help, against favor, goodness, prosperity, lifting, breakthrough in my life and family. In the name of Jesus, let's open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, arise, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, and break all the strongholds of the enemies against our help, against our favor, goodness, prosperity in our life, in our home, in our marriage, in our family, concerning our husband, concerning my husband, concerning our children, concerning every family, in the name of Jesus, the works of our hand, our home, our marriage, our family. Lord, arise, O Lord, and break every strongholds of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them be broken. Let them be broken. In the name of Jesus, every strongholds of the enemy against help, against favor, against goodness, sin, breakthrough in our life, in my home, in my family, concerning my husband, concerning my children, concerning my wife, concerning my health, every area of our life. In the name of Jesus, rise and break them. In the name of Jesus, every stronghold of the enemy, Lord, let them be broken. Concerning my home, my marriage, my family, in the name of Jesus, let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. In the name of Jesus, Father, arise tonight, O Lord, and break every stronghold of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, break them, O Lord. Break them, O Lord. Break them, O Lord. Break them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise and let every man, woman, powers troubling the peace of my life, my home, my family, my marriage, my finances, my children be troubled by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise. Let every man, woman, powers troubling the, the peace of my life, my family, my marriage, my home, my spouse, husband, my children, my finances, let them be troubled by fire. In the name of Jesus, Lord, trouble them, O Lord. Trouble them, O Lord. Trouble them, O Lord. Trouble them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, let's open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, the Father arise and trouble, O Lord. Every man, every woman, every power, O Lord, troubling the peace of my life, the peace of my home, the peace of my marriage, every family. In the name of Jesus, Lord, trouble them by your power. In the name of Jesus, according to your word, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, arise, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, and let your enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus, arise, trouble them, O Lord. Everyone troubling the peace of our home, my marriage, my family. In the name of Jesus, Lord, trouble them. In the name of Jesus, by your power, O Lord, trouble them. In the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, trouble them. In the name of Jesus, every man, every woman, every power, troubling the peace of our home, our marriage, our family. 
Lord, trouble them. In the name of Jesus, by your power, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, trouble them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Based on that uh, prayer point, let's also look at the uh, Galatians 6 verse 17. Another scripture to back up that prayer. Galatians 6 verse 17. Galatians 6 verse 17. I read, From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the mass of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are still praying that Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I be in the name of Jesus. Let no man trouble me. Our home, our marriage, our family. In the name of Jesus Christ. For we bear on our body. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon your home, upon your marriage, upon your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because we have the mark of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Begin to mark yourself, your home, your marriage, your family. With the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus upon our home upon our marriage, upon our family, upon my husband, upon our children, upon our wife, because the mark of the blood of Jesus is upon us, in the name of Jesus Christ. No man will trouble us, in the name of Jesus. No man will trouble us, in the name of Jesus. The Lord will arise, in the name of Jesus, concerning every trouble as of our life, our home, our marriage, our family, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bear in our body the mark of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the mark of the blood of Jesus is upon our home, our marriage, our spouse, our husband, my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Lord, arise and save our children. Recover their hearts from being possessed by the spirit of worldliness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise. Save our children. Recover their hearts from being possessed by the spirit of worldliness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, arise in the name of Jesus and save our children, our boys, our girls. In the name of Jesus, our sons, our daughters, O oh Lord. Recover their hearts from being possessed by the spirit of worldliness. In the name of Jesus, spirit of worldliness, every corruption. Every manipulation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, arise, O oh Lord. Save our children in the name of Jesus. Recover their hearts, O oh Lord, from being possessed by the spirit of worldliness in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, recover their hearts. Recover their hearts in the name of Jesus. Recover their hearts, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus and save our children in the name of Jesus Christ from being possessed. By the spirit of worldliness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, arise, O Lord. Save our children. Save our children, our boys, our girls, our sons, our daughters, O Lord. Arise, recover their hearts from being possessed by the spirit of worldliness, in the name of Jesus. Every corruption, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every pollution, O Lord, in the world, in the society. Lord, arise and save our children. Recover their hearts, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus, from spirit of worldliness, spirit of rebellion, in the name of Jesus, we arise, O Lord, save our children, in the name of Jesus, recover their hearts, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying, Amen. Let's say, my Father, my Father, my Father, arise and uproot anything you did not plant. In my life, in my home, in my family, finances, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Matthew 15 verse 13 says, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. In the name of Jesus, let's open our mouth and pray that Father, arise, O Lord, and uproot anything you did not plant in my life, in my home, in my family in my marriage, in the life of my children, in the life of my husband, in the life of my wife, in the name of Jesus, Lord, approve them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, arise and approve them, arise and approve them, arise and approve them, in the name of Jesus, let's open our mouth and pray, in the name of Jesus, Lord, arise and approve them, in the name of Jesus, arise, O Lord, I'll put anything you did not plant in our life, in my home, 
in my family, in my marriage, in the name of Jesus, concerning the works of my hand, concerning my finances, concerning my husband, his business, his career, his ministry, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, open them by your fire, in the name of Jesus, open them, O Lord, open them, O Lord, open them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, concerning the life of our children, our boys, our girls, our sons, our daughters, Lord, arise and uproot anything you do not plant in their life, in their destiny. In the name of Jesus, uproot them by your fire. Put them by your fire. Uproot them by your fire. In the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. In the name of Jesus, let's open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. Mom is in the house. Please pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. Pray for your family that the Lord should arise and uproot anything that God did not plant in your life, in your home, in your marriage, in your family, in the name of Jesus, by your fire, by his fire, in the name of Jesus. Lord, arise, O Lord, uproot anything that you did not plant in our life, in my home, in my marriage, in my family, concerning every family represented online, concerning every home, concerning every husband, concerning every wife, concerning all our children, O Lord, the works of our hand, our finances, our career, our business, O Lord. Lord, approve them tonight. In the name of Jesus, approve them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, everything we do not plant concerning our marriage, Father, approve them tonight. In the name of Jesus, concerning our finances, Lord, approve them tonight. In the name of Jesus, arise by your power, arise by your majesty, and approve everything that you do not plant in our life, in our home, in our marriage, in our family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, they are uprooted. Amen. We are still praying. Matthew 13, verse 25. Matthew 13, verse 25. Matthew 13, verse 25. Amen. You say, while men slept, his enemy came and sold tiles among the weights and went again. He slept, his enemy came and so tears among the weight and went his way. We are still praying concerning the same prayer point. The Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, arise, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, and approach every test, every seed that the enemy has placed in my home, in my marriage, in my family. By the way, Lord, let them be uprooted tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, he said, But wise men slept, his enemy came and so tears among it and went his way in the name of jesus christ let god arise tonight that every seed every planting every implantation that the enemy has sold that the enemy has dropped in our home in our marriage in our family and went away father approve them tonight in the name of jesus christ let the lord approve them let the lord approve them in the name of jesus by his power let the lord approve them in the name of jesus Let's open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, the Father will put them. In the name of Jesus Christ, every tears, every seed, every implantation of the enemy in our life, in our home, in our marriage, that the enemy has dropped, that the enemy has been shown in the name of Jesus and went away by the side. Lord, will put them tonight by your power. In the name of Jesus, will put them, O Lord. Will put them, O Lord. Will put them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted by your power in the name of Jesus. Lord, uproot them, uproot them in the name of Jesus. Every test, every seed in the name of Jesus Christ, every implantation that the enemy has sold, that the enemy has dropped in our life, in our home, in our marriage, even in the life of our children, concerning the one, concerning our marriage, in the life of our spouse, concerning his business, concerning chances. Let the Lord uproot them tonight. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord put them. In the name of Jesus, by his power, Lord, put them tonight. In the name of Jesus, let us open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord put them. Every seed, every child of the enemy. In our home, in our marriage, in our family, that have been sold, that have been dropped. But the enemy has gone unknowingly to us. Let God put them tonight, by his power. In the name of Jesus, Lord, put them. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.
Matthew 3, verse 10. You are still praying the same prayer point, but with all the many other scriptures. Matthew 3, verse 10. Amen. Matthew 3, verse 10, I read. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. We say, Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, lay your axe, O oh Lord, your axe of fire upon every tree in the name of Jesus Christ that does not bear good fruit in our home, in my life, in our family. Lord, let them be hewn down and cast into the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, arise tonight, O oh Lord, with your axe of fire. Let it be laid upon every tree, every unfruitfulness, or every box of darkness in the name of Jesus in my life, in my home, in my family. Lord, let them be uprooted. Let them be hewn down and cast into fire by your axe, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lay your axe of fire, O oh Lord, arise tonight and lay your axe of fire upon every tree that does not bear good fruit, every, un every unrighteousness, every seed, every implantation in the enemy, in our home, in our marriage, in our family. Let them be hewn down and cast into the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, lay your axe of fire. Lay your axe of fire, O oh Lord, unto the root of trees in the name of Jesus. Everything that, does not, that is not working well, that is not going on fine in our home, in our life, in our marriage, in our family, in the name of Jesus Christ, that is bringing about stagnation, delay, lack, poverty, in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord lay his hands of fire upon them tonight and destroy them and let them be hewn down and cast into the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, arise tonight, O Lord. Lay your hands of fire onto the root of trees in the name of Jesus. Every unwanted situation, every unprofitable situation in our life, in our home, in our family, in the name of Jesus Christ, that is not bringing forth good food, that is not bringing forth testimony, that is not showing the manifestation, the goodness of God in our life, our husband's life, our wife's life, our children's life, our career, our ministry, our finances, the work of our hand. Lord, tonight, O oh Lord, lay your axe of fire upon them, heal them down, O oh Lord, and let them be cast into the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are still praying. We take the next prayer point. <coughs> Excuse me, Psalm 34. Psalm 34. I'll be taking this prayer, Psalm 34, with two versions of the Bible, pardon me, from King James and also from Amplified Version of the Bible for understanding. And as we have the understanding, we'll be able to pray better with it. Amen. Psalm 34, our prayer is taken from verse 4. Plus let's start with from verse 1. Psalm 34, let's take it from verse 1 to 10. We are going to 10. We are using it to pray. Amen. Psalm 34 from verse 1. I read from King James. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Verse 2. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Verse 4. I sought the Lord. And he held me and delivered me from all my fears. Verse 5. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Verse 6. The poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivered them. Verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Verse 9. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Verse 10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, 
but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Amen. We're taking it from verse 4. Verse 4, I saw the Lord and he had me and delivered me from all my fears. Let's open our mouth and pray in the name of Jesus, the Father, as we have come into your presence tonight, O Lord God, concerning me, concerning my home, my family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, deliver us, O Lord, from all our fears. From all our troubles. Please let's open our mouth and pray. Begin to pray as you are led according to that scripture. In the name of Jesus. That God in the name of Jesus tonight, O Lord. Lord, arise, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. And help me. Deliver me. My family. My husband. My children. My wife. My wife on my hand. My finances. Deliver us, O Lord. From all our fears. All troubles. In the name of Jesus, all unwanted situations and circumstances in our home, in my marriage, in my family. Father, deliver me tonight. In the name of Jesus, deliver my family, deliver my home by your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, deliver us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, verse 5. They looked unto him and were lighting, and their faces were not ashamed. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I look unto you, as my family look unto you, O Lord God, tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let us not be ashamed. In the name of Jesus, let me not be put to shame. Let my family not be put to shame. Let us not be condemned. Let us not be put into confusion. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray for your family. Mommies, pray for your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. Let's open our mouth and pray for that scripture. In the name of Jesus, as our eyes look unto you tonight, O Lord, as we come into your presence, O Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let us not be put to shame, let us not be ashamed. My family will not be ashamed, my husband will not be ashamed, our children will not be put to shame. The words of my hand, and my finance, my career, our ministry shall not be put to shame. We shall not be condemned, we shall not be confused. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, verse 6. The poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Lord, in the name of Jesus, as I have come unto you, into your presence tonight, in the name of Jesus, and I cried, I lift up my voice unto you. For me, my home, my family, O Lord, Lord, you hear me. Save me, save my family from all troubles, O Lord. Save my home, my family from more troubles, from more shackles of the enemy, from all manipulation, from all attack from all sorrows, from all tragedies, in the name of Jesus Christ. Save us, O Lord. Save our home. Save our marriage. Save our family. Open your mouth and pray, in the name of Jesus. Now let the Lord save your home. Let the Lord save your marriage. Let the Lord save your children. Let the Lord save your husband. Let the Lord save your wife, in the name of Jesus, from every troubles, every manipulation, every attack, every works of darkness, every unwanted situation and circumstances, in your life, in your home, in your marriage, in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, save us, O Lord. The angel of the Lord encamp around those that fear him. Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver us. My home, my marriage, my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Verse 10. The young lions do lack food. The another version says food. And suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Lord, concerning me. My home, my marriage, my family, Lord will not lack any good thing. In the name of Jesus, will not lack food, will not suffer hunger. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, you provide for us divine provision. In the name of Jesus, for me, my family, oh Lord, will not lack anything good. In the name of Jesus, will not go hunger, will not go famine. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Verse 19. We take another one, verse 19. It says, Many hardships and perplexing circumstances confront the righteous. That's from Amplified Version. But the Lord rescued him from them all. In the name of Jesus, the Father, arise tonight, O oh Lord, from every hardship, from every sorrow, every pain, every unwanted situation and circumstances confronting me, my home, my family. Father, deliver us tonight. Rescue us, O oh Lord. Save us, O oh Lord. By your power, in the name of Jesus, by your majesty, by your authority, in the name of Jesus, save us, O Lord, save us, O Lord, save us, O Lord, save us, O Lord, save my home, save my marriage, save my family, save my husband, save my children, save my wife, 
the works of our hand, our marriage, our home, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 121. Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalm 121. <laughs> Take it from verse 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. Verse 2. Which made heaven and earth. Verse 3. He will not suffer thy foe to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Verse 4. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Verse 5. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade. Verse 6. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by the night. Verse 7. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Verse 8. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. Let's open our mouth and pray. Take it from verse 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where cometh my help. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for me, my home, my marriage, my family, let's open our and pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. We lift up our eyes unto you, O Lord, because you are our helper, O Lord. Help come from you. The help of my family come from you. The help of my husband, my children, my wife come unto you, O Lord. We lift up our eyes unto you tonight in the name of Jesus. Help us, O Lord God. Help our home. Help my family. Help my marriage. Help my husband. In the name of Jesus, verse 2, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and the earth. You are the Lord that made the heaven and the earth. Lord, help my family. Arise, O Lord, and help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 3, will not suffer thy food to be moved. They that keep it, they will not slumber. Lord, in the name of Jesus, because you are my keeper. For me and my family, O Lord, Lord, will not be moved. Our food will not be full, moved. In the name of Jesus, we will not slumber. In the name of Jesus, verse 4, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are our keeper. You that keepeth my home, my marriage, my family. Lord, you will not sleep. Concerning that matter, concerning that situation, in my home, in my marriage, Father, you will not sleep. You will not keep silence. You will not be quiet. You will not slumber. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I bring my family before you concerning that situation, concerning that circumstances, in that for my husband, in the life of my wife, in the life of my children, concerning my husband's business, concerning the work of his hand, concerning the finances of my family. Lord, you will not sleep, you will not slumber, you will not be silent, you will not keep quiet. You will arise and help us, O Lord. You are our Ebenezer, O Lord, the rock or the stone of help. In the name of Jesus Christ, arise and help me, my family, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, don't sleep on us, O Lord, on that matter, on that business, O Lord. Father, you will not sleep, you will not slumber, you will not keep quiet, you will not sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is thy keeper, verse 5. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Lord, keep us at your right hand. The sun shall not smite me, my home, my family by day, nor the moon by night. In the name of Jesus. Verse 7, the Lord shall preserve me, my home, my family, my husband, my children, my wife. Open your mouth and pray from all evil. In the name of Jesus, he shall preserve our soul. The soul of my husband, the soul of my children, the soul of my wife. The Lord will preserve it in the day, in the morning, in the night. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord preserve our soul. In the name of Jesus, verse 8. The Lord shall preserve that going out and that coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, the going out and the coming in of my life, my home, my family, Lord, you preserve it. Our going out is blessed. Our coming back is blessed. We go out with joy. We come back with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ, our morning, our noon, our evening is blessed. Lord, you preserve us. In the name of Jesus Christ, from all evil, from all attack, from all manipulation, from this time forth and even forevermore. For me and every member of my family, my household, the works of my hand, my finances, my business. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We take the last prayer point. We open your mouth and pray. And say, Oh Lord my God. Arise and restore my life, family, marriage, finances, business.
business, everything, slot it in, ministry, the work of my hand, the life of my children, the life of my husband, the life of my wife, to your original plan in the name of Jesus Christ, to your original master plan in the name of Jesus. I take it again. Oh Lord, my God, arise and restore my life, my destiny, my family, my marriage, my finances, my husband, my children, the words of my hand, my ministry, to your original master plan. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, the let the Lord God arise and restore your home, your marriage, your family, everything that concerns your husband, his business, his finances, his ministry, things that are not working well, things that are not going on fine in your home, in your marriage, in your family, your husband's life, your wife's life, your children's life. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord arise tonight by his power and restore in the name of Jesus to his original master plan. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, arise, O Lord. Arise by your power tonight and restore my life, my home, my marriage, my family to your original master plan. In the name of Jesus, the lives of my children, the lives of my husband, his work, his ministry, his career. In the name of Jesus, the business, O Lord, our health, our finances, Lord, arise and restore, O Lord, to your original master plan. In the name of Jesus, arise, O Lord, and restore my family, my marriage, my finances, the works of my hand. In the name of Jesus, the finances of my husband, his business, his career. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise and restore to your original master plan. In the name of Jesus, every situation in my home, in my marriage, in my family, things that are not working out fine, things that are not going on this way it's supposed to be. Lord, arise tonight, O Lord, and restore in the name of Jesus Christ, lost glories, lost finances, lost benefits, opportunities, O Lord. Arise, O Lord, and restore them in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, let us take a personal prayer request. Let's go before the Lord God. Present your matter unto the Lord God in the place of prayer in the name of Jesus. Your personal prayer request present it unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying. Pray unto God. Present that matter in your home, your marriage, your family unto the Lord God. He alone can do it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's begin to round up our prayer. Let's begin to bring our prayer to a close. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God will meet us at the point of our needs. The Lord God will hear our cry. He will answer us. He will arise on that matter and visit you. In the name of Jesus, testimony shall manifest. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's just begin to worship the name of the Lord. Let's give him, begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him praise, adoration. Let's say, Father, we appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let's appreciate God for answer prayer. Let's thank him for tonight's ministration, for his enablement, for his power and grace that he has given unto us. To be able to come into his presence tonight, to pray unto him in the name of Jesus. And concerning that your personal prayer request, the Lord God Almighty will hack in unto it. He will do it. He will answer it. Testimony shall come out of it in the name of Jesus. That situation, that matter will end in praise and thanksgiving to the glory of the name of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Appreciate him. Give him thanks, give him praise, give him glory. He's the one that can answer prayer. The Bible says unto you, O Lord God, that answer prayer. All oh, men come, O Lord. Father, we thank you because we have come into your presence tonight to pray unto you, O Lord, and you answer us. You hearken to our cry, you hear our prayer in the name of Jesus. 
thank you lord thank you for your people thank you for every man thank you for every woman thank you for our children thank you for the works of our hand thank you for our finances thank you for arising all of our family tonight by your power oh lord that every situation every circumstance every hardship oh lord now you arise in the name of jesus every lost glory shall be restored in the name of jesus the works of the hand of our husband that is not rise oh lord and deliver it in the name of jesus thank you lord because you have heard us because you have done it because you have answered prayer in the name of jesus christ and coming tonight will not be in vain in the name of jesus christ lord we thank you because you have helped us oh lord to pray and to pray through tonight in the name of jesus thank you mighty father because our hope our belief our assurance in you that when we call upon you oh lord you answer us in the name of jesus blessed be your name oh lord god to you be all the glory to you be the honor to you be the adoration in the name of jesus christ thank you mighty father for grace for strength for stamina to prevail to come to your presence and to pray in the name of jesus thank you lord blessed be your name oh lord in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen hallelujah god bless you sir god bless you ma in the name of jesus the lord god almighty will continue to strengthen uphold you and enlarge you on all areas in the name of jesus well with you your home your marriage your family our children our family the works of our hand our calling our ministry our career in the name of jesus you and i and our family we shall not be put to shame in the name of jesus concerning that matter concerning that situation in your home in your family that you are believing the lord god for the lord god will make a turn around he will make a change he will arise mightily to visit your home your marriage your family that your husband business that career oh lord the lord will arise in the name of jesus christ lord we thank you in the name thank you for coming tonight in the place of prayer to pray unto the lord god for your home your marriage your family in the name of jesus the joy of the lord will continue to be our strength in the name of jesus christ thank you mighty father god bless you all in the name of jesus christ name of the lord god be glorified in your life your home your marriage your family in the name shall not be put to shame in the name of jesus christ thank you lord in the name of jesus christ our home is blessed. our children are secure they are protected the work of our hand our calling our ministry in the name of jesus christ so shall it be in the name of jesus christ amen then the date with jesus next week saturday restoring family prayer water 8 p.m nigerian time in the name of jesus christ God bless you all in the name of Jesus. As we go tonight, we go in the name of God the Father, the Son, the Spirit, peace of God in our home, our marriage, our family, the works of your hand, your wife, your husband, your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Dear Father, Mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend. You and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, Please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.